What's going on, people? With the heightened level of racism that's now in the media and that the demon crafts are promoting, it's mind blowing to me to hear so many millennials sit back and say, I wish that there would be a race war. I can't wait for there to be a race war so that I can just sit back and keep score. They're saying we need a race war so that people can get all of the hatred and the racism out of their system. But is that what we really need? Now, I've done videos in the past on my Fearless 2005 channel, which is now deleted. Um, I've done a video in the past that, that was titled, Do You Really Want a Race War? And in that video, I tried to warn people as to what could transpire during a race war. Now, for those of you who think that you can just sit back and keep score and watch the action, a race war is not just you out there, you know, a group of people fighting amongst each other and you're just sitting back untouched. If you look at the Jim Crow era, the civil rights movement, that was a type of race war where so many people died. There were little children that were lynched. The Ku Klux Klan that was, of course, created by the demon craps, they hung children. That's how much hate and racial tension that existed back in that time. It was extremely stressful. It's like when you step out into society, man, you don't know who's your enemy, who's friend or who's foe. When you went to school, you had to deal with racist teachers. You had to deal with racist uh, classmates. You know, you could be walking home and you see a group of black dudes or black females, you get jumped and vice versa. You see a group of white dudes or white females and you can get jumped. So a race war is not what you think it is. A race war leaks into businesses. We see that happening with Trump supporters where they are not allowed to go into certain businesses where they say, we can't serve you. Like I mentioned in that last video, there were blacks that couldn't even drink out the same water fountain as, black, as white people. Black people had to go through the back door or if you really want to look at things, black people were sprayed down by water holes. Dogs were sicked on them. They had to sit in the back of the bus. This is just dealing with black people. And I'm sure there were white casualties as well. They would burn black people on the stake. That's how racist it was back in that time. And you're saying that you hope that there's a race war? A race war just, just doesn't affect black and white people. It affects the whole society, especially when you have interracial children or you're in an interracial relationship or an interracial marriage and you have in-laws that don't like you because you're black or because you're white. They don't accept you. And your children are now caught in the middle because they can't accept your children because your children are considered black or your children are considered white. So for the millennials that never experienced the Jim Crow movement, that never experienced the civil rights movement, you have no idea what you're asking for. A race war is not what you think it is. It's not a thing that you're going to watch on television and see a black, bunch of black people standing on police cars setting the city on fire. That's not what we're talking about. See, and it's not like you can just sit back and watch TV because your children may go outside, your children may end up in a daycare center where you have black people that's watching over your kids. You're gonna have situations where churches are bombed. And like the thing with Dylan Roof, man, where he went up in that church, man, and shot up all those people. Is that what you're asking for? See, so a race war is not like you watching TV like the Warriors and you see different gangs fighting each other. You know, they have brass knuckles and chains and, and guns and knives and sticks. That's not what a race war is about, man. It's ongoing. It's ongoing. It's, it's, it's when you least expect it. 
and those of you that's hoping for a race war, thinking you're going to sit back and just watch the action, you might end up being a victim. Your children or loved ones might be a victim. Your old grandma might be a victim. Your mom or your dad might be a victim. And the only thing that does is stir up hate, man. You have no idea of the power of hate. Just look at what's going on with the Trump administration, the media, the demon craps, and all the people that it affects, and how there's so much hatred directed towards one man. A lot of information that's put out is not even true. But because of the fact that the, the media has got so much power over the minds of the people, it can manipulate you to think whatever you want to think, whatever they want you to think. Just think back where when blacks were all blacks were targeted by the media. And you had situations, man, like where you walk up to a white woman, man, you in the elevator, she would either wait for the next elevator or she'll clench her purse. That happened to me, man, just back in the 80s. I pulled up in my expedition next to a little pinto at a red light. And you had peep, the white people in the car next door start locking their car doors out of fear. Do you want to live in fear? Is that the type of life that you want for your children and your grandchildren? See, so when you ask for a race war, man, you have no idea what you're asking for. You don't have no idea what you're asking for. So when I hear millennials say things like, I just hope a race war will happen so people can just get it out of their system, you talk like a fool because you have no idea what you're asking for. And I keep saying that over and over again. I can't stress it more, even more. And now that we're in a society, man, where there's so many knives and guns out there. Now, I haven't really heard of too many shootings taking place in the black community, man. And see, that's, that's bad, too, especially if you talk about a race war and black people already hate each other, right? Black people already killing each other. And I know this is a topic that a lot of black people don't want to talk about. They want to make it seem like blacks are so united. And if you think different than they do, then they attack you racially, call you out of your name, and be willing to attack you physically. See, but this is what you guys want. You want a race war. Be careful what you ask for, because you just might get it. So subscribe, feedback, Tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.